Hey, Carl, this is what a lot of people have been calling for for some time. And as you take a look at shares of Tesla, you see they're under a little bit of pressure, not extreme pressure, but a little bit of pressure after the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration announced that it will be opening a formal investigation looking into Tesla's autopilot technology. What will NHTSA be looking at? Well, specifically, it will be looking at 11 crashes where Tesla vehicles were in autopilot mode and they crashed into emergency vehicles. Those crashes led to 17 injuries, one fatality. This will involve the models S, X, Y, and 3, 765,000 vehicles, basically everything Tesla has made from 2014 through 2021. Altogether, NHTSA has reports of 31 incidents involving autopilot technology. That includes these 11, and there have been others as well. But for this investigation, it'll only be focused on the 11 crashes. By the way, those go back to 2018, those crashes. As you once again take a look at Tesla over the last five years, as this stock has moved higher, Elon Musk has repeatedly defended autopilot, even as critics have said, look, there are not enough safeguards in here. It's camera based only. It doesn't use LiDAR technology. Uh, it allows drivers to think that the car is completely self-driving when it's not. Elon Musk has at times said, yes, it's not completely self-driving. At the same time, he has also sold the perception, if you will, that autopilot is essentially the way for you to get in your car and your car is going to take you from point A to point B. Though, again, when pressed on analyst calls and at other times, Jim, he has said, sure, it's not 100 percent self-driving. So we'll see what happens here with the uh, NHTSA investigation. Just a reminder, Jim, the way this works, NHTSA investigates. If they find there's a, a flaw with the technology, they go to an automaker and they say, you should recall this technology or come up with a solution. If the automaker says, no, we're not going to do that, then NHTSA goes to court to force a recall. But we're a long ways from that happening. We still need to see exactly what happens with this formal investigation. Well, Phil, I think that's a great report, but it made me think, are those really bad numbers? I mean, over a long period of time, I think it's very few. And then I question, let's say drunk driver versus sober driver. Uh, how many people would a drunk sure. driver have killed? So I, I don't know. I mean, I think it sounds like a pretty good, uh, anybody gets a uh, crash is all bad. But anybody, that's a very few number, isn't it, Phil? Well, it depends on how you look at it, Jim. Uh, some people would look at this and they would say, there are 31 incidents, 11 crashes in this investigation, 31 altogether that uh, NHTSA has acknowledged. Um, so the question becomes, are those the only ones that we know about? And the other question becomes, is the technology being marketed and sold to the public in a fashion that makes them think their vehicle is completely self-driving? Because it's not. It is not self-driving technology. And so that's the question, Carl. And ultimately, we'll see if anything comes of this. By the way, we have yet to hear from Elon Musk. Remember, they disbanded their media relations department. Uh, and a few reporters already tweeted at Elon saying, Elon, do you have anything to say about this investigation? We'll see what he has to say.